why kids get vaccinated at six months? Because before that, they are protected by their biological mother's immune system. So, was she vaccinated? An infant picks up a regular old measles virus. He gets a rash. He's extremely uncomfortable, has a wicked fever, but he lives. Here's the kicker. Once every million or so times, the virus mutates. Instead of Dan having a fever and a rash, the virus travels to his brain and hides like a time bomb. In this case, for 16 years. You sure this isn't gonna hurt? Yeah, it's just scary as hell. See, we go through the pupil, but you won't feel it. The eye's been paralyzed. The needle travels to the back of the eye, which is where we'll perform the biopsy on your retina. So we've confirmed that the problem is this mutated virus. Searching both Clarence's cells. Figured if he's on something, it's stashed somewhere. Unless he finished it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a shame. He could have shoved it anywhere. There's envelopes stacked to the ceiling, bottles of copier toner, boxes of rubber bands, paper files, bottles. Call it off. Come on back. I'd like to spell it out for you. Pheochromocytoma. Honestly, I'm not sure how you spell it. But you said it yourself. Adrenaline. Pheochromocytoma sits on top of the adrenal gland, randomly spits out oodles of the stuff. It's perfect. Explains everything. The tachycardia, pulmonary edema, the vasoconstriction that caused the necrotic bowel. Even explains how he had the strength to rip the rail off his bed. It feels extremely rare. I love rare. No! She's trying to help me! Get off her! I didn't touch him. Great. Now we gotta go to the hospital. Ow! Get pain in your Ow. head. Go! Get away from me! Right, no, 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 One milligram out of bed. Push. No, 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 Good news is she's negative for HIV and Hep C. Yeah? I'm getting a tetanus shot. She's getting an MRI. It's a two-day wait for non-emergency MRI. She's getting an MRI. Then she's out of here. First, there's localized numbness and sensitivity to light, disorientation, paranoia, ineffectiveness of sedatives, and then hydrophobia, fear of water. Rabies. There've only been, what, 10 cases in the last 20 years? Yeah, that's because non-homeless people, when they get bitten, they get shots. There were bats. What'd you do? I just wanted to sleep. I'm calling an ambulance. She knows house as well as any of us. She should have known she was waiting for him to do something he was never going to do. Chase? Hannah? You still with us? What's wrong with her eyes? It looks like Rem. What's that? Rapid eye movements. It's what your eyes do when you're sleeping. But she's awake. Hannah! Hannah, can you hear me? Yeah, of course. CDC. Tell him what? We have a patient with the plague. The black plague? Looks that way. Plague's carried by rodents, not dogs. Where there's dogs, there's fleas. And if they hail from the southwest, and those fleas can't tell the difference between prairie dogs and puppy dogs. A small percentage of plague cases present with sleep disturbance. Imagine an idyllic river of bacteria. It's not ideally for her, but it serves my purposes. The steroids and the immunosuppressants acted like a big honking dam across the river. Physics 101 put a dam up in front of a raging river. The river rises. By stopping the immunosuppressants, we blew up the dam, and a hundred-foot wall of bacteria flooded her lymph nodes. We better find out where that dog is now. 
after you restart the immunosuppressants and fill her up to the eyeballs with streptomycin, sulfate, gentamicin, and tetracycline. Use a garden hose if we got one. Get yourself some prophylactic treatments as well. I've got the plague. Don't worry, it's treatable. Being a bitch, though. Nothing we can do about that. Are you all right? Did I hurt you? Bob! Bob, what's wrong? What happened? Talk to me. Oh, my God. OK, honey, hang on, hang on. What is your emergency? Yes, we we need an ambulance at 10600 Xavier. You're a 4B. My husband can't breathe. Oh my God, he's turning blue. You have to send someone now, please. Hurry. What are you doing? Uh, your hand is wet. Sorry, must be nervous. I got some bad news. What? The damage to your husband's lungs is permanent. The kidney damage is reversible. And with the right therapy, he should regain full neurological function. Other than the fact that he's not going to be running any marathons, he should be fine. But that's good news, isn't it? I'm not finished. When I was a kid, my dad was stationed at a marine base in Egypt. We were in the middle of nowhere, and there was absolutely nothing for a kid to do except look for a mummy's tomb. You didn't want me to go to the bathroom because you wanted to tell me my husband is going to be fine and that you used to live in Egypt? I didn't have a problem with you going to the bathroom. I just didn't want you to wash your hands. I never actually found a mummy, but I did learn a fair amount about the ancient Egyptians. For example, they discovered that stannous chloride is not only great for toughening ruby glass, but if it's mixed with gold, it turns bright purple. Now, neither your fingers actually are worth their weight in gold. Where you've been sprinkling your husband's cereal with gold sodium thiamylate. It's an arthritis remedy that's rarely used here in the U.S., but it's still popular in Mexico. Gotta give you props. Never heard of anyone using gold before. It's almost 